Pareto analysis is one of the finest statistical tools. It will help you identify those defects that cause maximum impact. Many of my students approach me with a request of sharing real life stories of using several tools and techniques. So here I am today sharing a real life anecdote of one of my favorite tools called the Pareto analysis. Before we begin with the story, I want to share with you that I have created a complete and detailed video course called Pareto Analysis Masterclass. It is a short course that is filled with answers to questions such as what is Pareto Analysis, when to use it, how to create it. It is also filled with several practical do-it-yourself examples and a few real-life anecdotes. I have shared the link to the course and other courses offered by AIGPE in the description section below. So let's begin with this real life anecdote. I was working as a Six Sigma expert for a New York based bank. I operated from Pune, India, but frequently visited the headquarters on account of business. On one of my visits to New York, the business unit head of our bank expressed a concern relating to one of his businesses. He mentioned that the quality score of one of their products has a target of 100%, but they have not been meeting that target. His business process was consistently underperforming. The client was terribly upset because of this issue. He also mentioned that the business manager was recently summoned for this issue but the manager has not been able to find the root cause yet. I was in New York for another two days and he asked me to investigate the issue further and share my thoughts on the solution. I requested the data that I could get for this business process and that evening I sat doing the analysis. Now, in most scenarios, if you are improving the quality scores, you will look at the quality score metric. But I had a hunch that other process improvement experts must have already analyzed this metric. So I preferred to analyze a rather crude metric and that was analyzing the number of defects. I looked at the number of defects by the name of each team member who processed the transactions, by team, by shift, by month, by week and by day of the week. I used Pareto analysis to look at each of the above. Nothing really yielded for the first five options. But when I did the Pareto chart of the number of defects by day of the week, Viola, I found this issue. As you can see in this chart, the number of defects in the business process are significantly high on Wednesdays as compared to any other day of the week. Wednesdays contribute to 72% of the total defects and this was the same pattern for multiple weeks. So something was going wrong on Wednesday for sure. Since the business manager was already summoned by the business unit head, I did not want him to be involved in my investigation. I had a few colleagues who worked as mid-level managers in that business process but if I approached them, they might raise an alarm. I was scheduled to fly back from New York to Pune on Friday night and it was Wednesday evening already so I could not wait until next Wednesday to see what was happening on the shop floor. It was critical for me to see what was really going on in the shop floor. So I requested the risk and control team to share the CCTV footage of four random weeks Monday through Friday. After seeking the approval from the business unit head the CCTV footages arrived. I started to review those footages for each day of the week and as the Pareto analysis had revealed that Wednesday is a problem, I did find the problem. So this is what I found. On Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, the entire shop floor was quiet and involved in work. There was no noise. No unnecessary loitering of employees and the process discipline was well within control. However, on Wednesdays, I could see a lot of commotion on the shop floor. 
music was being played employees were moving around chatting with each other laughing out loud etc i am not saying that employees were not working they were but the atmosphere was rather too relaxed compared to other days of the week now i was puzzled with another question what really happened on wednesday for the atmosphere to be more relaxed that's where i found that the manager's office was always occupied by him on monday tuesday thursday and friday but it was unoccupied on wednesday so that means the manager was not in office on wednesday i looked at the attendance report and found that the manager was marked present on wednesdays so what was really going on upon speaking to other business managers in his circle i found a few more things the bank that i worked for was a big organization with its offices in more than 200 locations pittsburgh was one of the key locations every wednesday the corporate jet of our bank was open for employees to fly from new york to pittsburgh for free and on thursday morning the jet would be back from pittsburgh to new york since pittsburgh was a key location this facility of using the corporate jet was provided to employees to cut down costs to fly from new york to pittsburgh during the week on commercial airlines this manager took the corporate jet each wednesday and visited his mom who lived in pittsburgh on that day he worked from home then on thursday the manager would be back to new york's office now this arrangement was okay because we do have to respect employees work life but because of the manager's absence from the shop floor on wednesdays the following things happened the discipline on the shop floor was relaxed this led to more commotion on the floor the relaxed atmosphere caused the employees to be less vigilant while processing transactions as a result they missed on meeting the target of 100% quality score my job was to perform the analysis and identify the root cause i did that and shared the report including the cctv footages to the business unit head he was not too surprised that i got him the real root cause in fact he was confident about my ability to get to the root of the issue and that's why he had assigned me to this task but he was too surprised at how unique the root cause was after that meeting i took my flight from new york to pune as scheduled the next week on my weekly call with the business unit head he mentioned that the business manager was confronted with the issue he was shown the reports and observations and while he could continue meeting his mom in pittsburgh on wednesdays each week his direct reports were made responsible to manage floor discipline in the next two weeks the business unit head further shared that the business process was now meeting their target of 100% quality score after the corrective actions were implemented so our root cause identification was right on target in a nutshell it was the pareto analysis that made the real difference to solve this business problem as usual i was commended for this effort the business unit head wrote a compliment to my boss my boss was happy our department was happy i was happy too because i could become the james bond of my business process without using guns and expensive cars <laughs> Well, with Pareto analysis, you can solve many business problems like these. If you liked this real life anecdote and want to get more of these real life insights, share what you want in the comments below. And do like, share and subscribe to this channel. See you soon.